All right, y'all. So as y'all boy Mo Fantastic, y'all already know. Hey, my boy's about to chop his hair off. Is it a wrap? That's it. He's tired yeah. of the summer. He's tired of the heat. Two He's years. tired of two years. He has not gotten a haircut in two years. See, so, yeah, so you haven't been to a barber in two years? No, sir. Wow, that's, that's amazing. But guess what? Look, we're about to chop it up. I'm about to show y'all how I transformed this gentleman into a handsome young man for this interview. Cause he's about to go get a job interview, about to go get this job. And this is what I love about this job, is that the biggest thing is that we get to put smiles on people's faces, make people happy, make them confident. And also we're able to help them get jobs. You get a job with a haircut. That's how good the haircuts be sometimes. Let's get to work. All right, bud, so you wanted to cut your, all your hair off. What are you trying to get done? Let me see. All right, so he shows me this picture. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna make you look like that. You said like the sides, um, you go with me, go down to like a one. Yep. Start like with a one and then fade it up to the top. You still want that comb over on top, right? Yeah, so no you, shorter than the picture. Yeah, yeah, that's no shorter. That's, I know, you're showing me, uh, yeah. but the sides could go shorter than the picture. Yeah, yeah. But the length on top. All right, perfect. So just enough to comb it over, get it over yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. All right, cool. I'm gonna start debulking with the three. Start with the three. Get rid of all of that hair, debulking it. He's just eating through his hair, bro. That's why I like to cut this way, just to debulk the hair, kind of see what I gotta get done on the bottom of it. And then remember, we gotta trim the top anyway, so it don't gotta be pretty. The size is gonna be lower than the three, so I'm not worried about the three cutting anything. And boom, he's already looking a lot better. <laughs> already looking a lot better. That three is my foundation on top. It's just building that foundation. Now I'll take my three open and just start, kind of start that blend into the top already. And then you see, same thing on the sides right here, kind of that three with that side, you see? how it already has that shape already because the way I parted it and combed it, like I was gonna style it that way. Now I'm going straight with the one, start my bottom fade. I set my first foundation on the bottom with the one. So with the one, I'm gonna go right ahead with the one open, kind of start fading into that top guy that I had there with the three, with the one open. See, I'm flicking the wrist as I go and I'm using the chair to my advantage while moving the chair and fading at the same time. So I'm moving the chair, fading at the same time. You go in there and boom. Now I got the one halfway open there, kind of just getting that line in between that guideline I just set. Yeah, notice when, by me flicking the wrist, it's already gonna start fading up into the top with the one and a half open. So I come in with the one and a half open. You see right here, the blend is already happening. You see? And now I'm using the one and a half. And guys, you already see that it's already blending in. It's gonna make it so much more perfect just following through my steps and just go in with my two now so I can blend into that three a little bit more or use my blending shears. Either which way it's gonna work and it's gonna make it look good regardless. The chair is moving and I'm not, my feet are not moving from its place. I'm just playing with the lever. That was lever closed right there because I already knew that I wanted to use that to try to get that line out the way just so I can continue on with my fade and just keep going. How you feel, man? How you feel with this hair kind of getting cut off? I feel light. Feel lighter? Yeah. Nice, man. I'm positive you're gonna get that job now, man. Now you got that old fresh enough haircut, you're looking fresh. Hey, they love a good haircut, bro. They always do. They already feel so much better. Oh yeah. Now I'm gonna go in with my two. So it's my two open. I'm always gonna use it open first, typically, if I don't know, if I'm not sure what it's gonna cut, see? And then now I just, kind of show you what I just did there. It's just coming up so I don't have to waste time trying to get a comb. I just come here and I just kind of just cut it up in the air when the hair is inside the guard, see? And then boom, now it's blended. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that, guys. There you go. That's that's what I'm talking about right there. It's just all those those little tips and tricks that help you out and try to make you more efficient and help you kill, kill time, you know? You want to be able to kill time and make sure you get the haircut done good and efficiently the same time. So typically it's in the range of um, 15 to 20 minutes, like for the cut to be done. And then I just detail it for the last few minutes I have. Typically it takes about 15 to um, 20 minutes to finish a full haircut. That's without me explaining. That's without me giving you guys like a tutorial, but on a regular day-to-day -day basis, as I'm going into the rhythm and, and stuff like that, it helps me um, be more efficient as far as like the, the tips that I'm showing you guys, the system that I use with my guards, the fact that I have all color guards. Whenever I'm coming down to my station, I have all colors. They're all scattered, but all I'm doing is when I come grab a guard, I'm looking at the colors. You know, I'm not looking at the number. I'm not sitting here like, oh, three, two. I'm just gonna say, oh, all right, I already know I'm looking for the purple. 
boom, I grab the purple. Yeah, it just makes me a lot quicker with having the color guards. And I do like the wall. I highly recommend using the, the wall original guards, not the premium. Yeah, I feel like they cut a lot smoother and they cut a lot closer. So it just helps me with my haircuts with the way they look. Those are three and now I'm gonna use my two. Kind of blend in there. For the sides, do you want me to taper the sides in the back or do you want to just keep it all bold and just line it up? I would suggest taper it. It gives it more of a, you know, I trust you. You want to just taper it up? All right, cool. So now instead of it just being a boring haircut like he normally gets before this, but now he's gonna start getting the mohair haircuts. You know, the mohair haircuts are more complicated and more efficient, you know what I mean? Sophisticated, gonna make him look good, gonna make him more confident. So now he probably doesn't even know that he could have got a taper, but the fact that I asked him and gave him a little bit more confidence and like, hey, I think that looks good, gave him a suggestion. Now he's open for it and now he's gonna get it done. So now watch this. So now I'm gonna give him a taper and bring his haircut to the next level. Might as well just take this line out real quick, but keep that foundation with the one. I know that's what I'm gonna be blending into with the taper. It's gonna be the one section right here. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm using my sabers, my Stylecraft sabers. You can use my code, my discount code, MFT10 on the website, Stylecast website. Make sure you go there and get all your Stylecraft products. I highly recommend the Instance, highly recommend the sabers. My favorite clipper, favorite trimmer of all time. And I use it for everything. Check me out, watch me use this. See, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna set all my lines in first before I start fading. So the fade could st come out even cleaner and the lines come out crispier too. Cause when the hair is a little bit lower, I feel like it doesn't cut as much as it does when it's longer. Set my guideline right there. So there you go, I tapered the size there for him. All I did was set my first guideline with the trimmer closed, and then I go in with my clipper closed, clipper open, and boom, it, it fades it out for me. Cause it's blending into the one, guys. Into the one is a lot easier to blend. So like I said, I'll go here. After I'm done with that section, I'll go, I'll finish the lineup right here in this part. Kind of finish the lineup right here. So when I come in and I taper the back, it all comes together nicely. So boom, I finish one side. I'm gonna go ahead, finish the other side right here. My sabers are set super close, guys. I zero gap my sabers to be super close. So once I touch the hair one time, that's all it takes to get a crispy lineup. All it takes. Now I'm gonna show you guys the opposite way that I can, I also do it too. I come in with my clipper closed a little bit higher and I just blend in the sides right away like this. That was clipper open. I come clipper halfway, boom, check that out. Boom, look, I blend in right away, boom. Come in, I take my half guard. See, this side's a little darker on one side, so boom. All I do is check my half guard. I opened it up. It's equivalent to about the one closed. So I open it up and try to blend into that one as much as I can. So as I take that half guard, I blend into that one. It makes it a nice smooth taper fade right there. Boom, see, check that out. Clean up with the one a little bit more. There you go. One and a half open again, just to kind of come into this, this part of the fade again. Kind of blend in a little bit more. Boom. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of see about his corners. Try to get him, keep him as natural as possible. Hey man, 245 airbrush cleaner to me is one of the best, if not the best airbrush cleaner in the industry because it's very simple. It's gonna clean it, it's gonna do a deep clean. It's gonna get rid of all the old clutter that may be in your gun. More importantly, it's gonna be protecting the metal. A lot of these airbrush cleaners are just destroying your gun from the inside out and you don't even know it. But with 245, it won't do that, all right? Very easy to apply, simple nozzle that you put right here and literally have your thing spraying like brand new. So naturally, he kind of got it already faded a little bit because it's lighter down here. This is why I suggested the taper to him because he's already light here. So if I try to just square him off, it's gonna look weird. So might as well just taper it out. And then when it grows back in, it's gonna grow back faded. That's why typically when you do recommend a taper to someone in the back or tape on the sides is because, so when they're shaving or when the hair grows in, it grows in nice and smooth instead of with a line in it. I'm gonna go in with the clipper close because guys, when I start with the clipper close, it's because the hair is already low enough to start with that section with my bottom fade. I section my hair from top to bottom. I got my top fade and I got my bottom fade. Anything I'm blending into the top is my top fade. Anything I'm blending down into my middle is my bottom fade. So I just section the head off halfway. So now with this one, the hair's already low enough, ready to go. I set in with my, my clipper closed. I'm gonna go in with my clipper open, kind of flick the wrist, kind of flick that line out right there, guys. Look, 
See, I flick it out, boom, it's already tapered. That's it. So now I go halfway with my clipper closed, with no guard on my clipper, I go in, boom, see? If you notice, I'm using my instincts, my stylecraft instinct, because it's nice and smooth when I use it to maneuver quickly, move it to, to kind of flick my wrist a little bit more when it comes to fading and more of a tight knit area. So this is my half guard, like I said, I'm gonna be blending right into my one with my half guard after I just did a no clipper close. I come in with my half guard, boom. Now I'm fading right into this section, you see? Fade it straight across so you can have a nice even blend due to any little dark spots I see as I'm looking at my fade and looking at my haircut. Boom, so I come in with my, my masters is pretty thick. So it acts as a guard, it acts as my like half guard. So I just come in, I clean up little spots that I wanna just clean up and blend into my fade there. I'm gonna check out the way I got the front lined up. I kind of just kind of go off of that, trying to line them up nice and naturally, trying to keep it nice, nice and crispy, but at the same time, nice and natural. Then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do a little bit of blending back here in this section right here. So I'm using my blending shears. Notice right here. Yeah, y'all about to get some of my singing too. What's up? So now guys, when it comes to the top, I know you guys saw me blend the side in. So I blended this side of the hair. So if you notice, it kind of flows and it kind of already blends in with the side of my cut. So when I'm trimming the top of the hair, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the shortest length here and start working my way over to the side and keeping some hair on the other side of the head to be able to keep that comb over look. And his hair is pretty like heavy and soft. So it doesn't really spike up as much when you come lower. So I'm not too worried about that spiking up. If y'all go check out Mr. Mustache on, on Instagram, one of my cool guys in Orlando. He's a barber supply guy in Orlando. He's a super cool, super chill guy. He actually sent me these scissors to try out. It actually has a comb on the scissor. So the fact that he got longer hair, I kind of don't want to use these, but I'm about to show you guys real quick how this works. I can actually show you guys here the small section. See? Boom. How's that length right there? Pretty good, right? Yeah. All right. So look guys, I'm literally using the scissors. It's a comb and a scissor in one. I don't gotta worry about holding a scissor in my hand because literally the scissors have it on it, on it already. Now that it's short enough on the top. Now I got my longest section here. I go ahead, I'll take that off of my guide in the middle. So the crown's already at a nice length that I wanted to stay at. So I'll just cross check that and double check and I'll probably just trim a little bit off just to like kind of blend it in a little bit. And then I'm actually gonna take the blending shears and probably just thin out this thickness he has here. And then instead of just trimming it so it can have a nice flow into it, kind of give him that squared look like it. It's kind of like a good transition into longer hair. Like instead of you having straight up long hair, you like that transition instead? Yeah. Yeah, that looks really good. It's a nice little comb over pompadour right there, bro. I definitely want to keep that, keep that length a little longer. But what I do is, guys, I, I take my thinning shears and I'll just thin that out a little bit. Look, so it can flow a lot easier. And then right here, see? I'll just thin it out a little bit. See? Just so that line could flow right into the comb over, nice and smooth by just using your thinning shears and just hitting that, that thick line that you leave there. Cause you know, obviously you're gonna have a guide and you're gonna have a guide that you cut from and then use the thinning shears to just kind of like come off of that and just literally thin it out and then it'll just smoothly blend in. Look at that guys. What job are you going for, man? I actually can't talk about it. Okay, that's cool, that's yeah, cool. Sorry, sorry. No, 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 you good, you good. I hope to hear about I'll it next I'll time. Tell you, I'll tell you off camera. Another secret client. You see, all my clients are secret. I love it. My first top secret client, you know, he's yeah. my guys. That tomb, 45, indestructible clay. You can find it on Amazon. Bro, best clay in the market, man. Check this out. You take one finger, rub it in your hands. Nice and rub. Kind of just want to kind of like rub it in his hair. Using that Joshua P comb. You got that beautiful shape, guys. How you feel, man? Looking like a brand new person. Yeah, it so clean. Appreciate it, man. I'm using my razor to just detail the work with a final look, just to see how it looks come out all together. It's kind of getting a little bit of stubble, all the little detail works, making sure everything is locked in and ready to go. Huh? <laughs> how did it look though? It looks good, man, I appreciate it. Yeah, for sure, bro, for real. All right. How you, how you feel like you did, bro? Hey man, a girl came out of man, bro. Let's go, baby. Hey, we're converting all those long hair, bro. I want the long hair. No more, no more long hairs, all right? All right.